CES in Las Vegas with VinFast, we had the opportunity to go to Vietnam in the summer and drive the VF8, full electric vehicle. Today we're doing a walk around review of the VF9. So what I'll do is I'll leave a card here, you can click on it at any time and watch that full length review of the VF8 in Vietnam. We also have a travel vlog, which yeah. is kind of fun. So this is the top dog, the biggest vehicle that VinFast is bringing to North America this year. They have four vehicles by the end of 2023 yeah. that are full electric that will be on sale. This VF9 has two trims, the Eco and the Plus model. The Eco model starts at just under $104,000 in Canada, and that is with the battery included. If you do choose to go with the battery subscription, it's just under $80,000 Canadian. So the way that works is you pay the $80,000 and then you have a monthly subscription fee. I think a lot of people will consider that if they're leasing, yeah. if they want to buy the vehicle outright, you might just want to pay for the battery all at once. So this is one of very few three-row mid-size fully electric SUVs. So it has a lot of room on the inside. And Andrea, I gotta tell you, this is a very bold design. Yeah. Up front, where my hand is, there's the air goes in here, and it comes out here like a power dome. Um, very unique looking, right? Well, it, it's unique looking and it improves aerodynamics as well. I like the look of the VinFast vehicle. I think this VF9 is a real standout. It's bold, it's sophisticated. You know, there aren't a lot of seven passenger vehicles that kind of look a bit sporty. Yeah, and, and the side of it is very nicely done. They have the trim piece that goes over the windows that tucks down together, very elegant looking. So it's yeah. kind of got a, you know what I would say? This kind of reminds me a lot of the SRT Jeep Grand Cherokee yeah, at the of. front with this power dome. Yeah. And then at the side, a very sleek and elegant vehicle. But a three row full electric is not common at all in this space. No, I mean, really, Volvo is coming out with the EX90 now, but there really isn't a lot of competition for VinFast at all. The VF9 Eco trim comes standard with 20 inch wheels available 21 inch on the plus model and then optional 22 inch wheels. The number one thing everybody wants to know with an electric vehicle, two yeah. things, how much power it has and really the number one thing is what's the range. Yeah. And Andrea, what's the range? This VF9 gets up to 594 kilometers, 369 miles. On a full charge with a DC fast charger, you can charge it from 10 to 70% in only 35 minutes. So that is on the European test cycle, which is more generous than the EPA numbers. And none of the VinFast vehicles have had their certification from the EPA. So as they say, mileage may vary. Yeah, you can expect in the North American market to definitely come in a little bit less. For horsepower, this has got 402 horsepower and 457 pound-feet of torque. It's got some good power for a seven-passenger well, vehicle. Well, look at it. Andrea has got the big power. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed by this part yeah. of it. I mean, it looks really good. I think that most who look at this seven-passenger vehicle will be really impressed with the design of it. Well, sitting in the VF9 gives you a really comfortable experience. This is the top trim, and that's where you get this panoramic sunroof. Both vehicles, the, the models, the Eco as well as the Plus model, come with the 15.9 inch touchscreen. And I really like the materials in here. It feels really quite upscale. I mean, it should. It is a very expensive vehicle. All right, what about that push button shifter, Andrea? That's bold, is it not? It's really bold. We saw this in the VF8 when we were in Vietnam. Uh, the VF6 and the VF7 both have it here. It's still a, a, a push button shifter. It simplifies the center console and keeps it really clean. I would prefer, of course, a traditional shifter for those who know me, but this is a different option that is quite unique. All right, so in the back, the one that they have on display, as Andrew mentioned, is the top trim. Yeah. And it has a console between uh, the two captain's chairs, but you can get 
uh, a regular bench seat, right? You can get a regular bench seat or the captain's chairs on the Plus model, but the Eco model only comes with the bench seat, no option of the captain's chairs. And also, the top trim gets ventilated rear seats as well as heated rear seats. The Eco trim does not come with the ventilated rear seats because it doesn't get the captain's chairs. So it's got a power lift gate around the back and it's quite roomy. Uh, you see the shots here of yeah. the one third row seat is up and then underneath the floor is a really big tray for extra storage maybe for a cable but this is a large vehicle I would say it's kind of on par with maybe like a Telluride or something like that. I also really like the trim level in this. They've gone with more of a brushed aluminum here and there's not a ton of hard plastic. There's a lot of soft touch materials in here. You've got your center console storage, which is fairly deep inside. You'll find that to be adequate. And then your cup holders here and your wireless charger. This is where you control your volume knob, so it's very simplistic in here. Now the head unit has Apple and Android, but the back end unit is being developed by VinFast and they have uh, Alexa integrated, so you actually have voice commands to get the vehicle to do certain functions. And you'll notice that the steering wheel in here is quite sporty, which is nice for a seven passenger SUV. You don't usually see that. And also in front of Andrea, there's no instrument cluster. However, up front there is a head up display. They're doing this on all of the VF products, even down to the VF6, uh, which is the smallest subcompact. So I, I, you know what, I would like an instrument cluster, but if you're not going to give me an instrument cluster, the head-up display certainly is welcome. Yeah, it's a must. You definitely need the head-up display then for sure. Wow, look at the leg room in here. This is great. Lots of headroom, even with the panoramic roof that we've got in here. This is fixed, just so you know, it does not open. There are your cup holders and also a little storage space in here too. I applaud the captain's chairs because people do like that, mm -hmm. but the console really limits space to the third row. If it was me, I would probably get the bench seat. That looks comfy. Very comfy. You Should know, we see how far it goes back? It goes back to here. So I could, I could really take a nap in here. That's for your driver. Driver, take me home. <laughs> My driver. Leg room in the back is not huge. I think it would be best for smaller kids back here. Um, headroom is very good, but I just don't have a ton of leg room. You could still move this seat up a little bit, but you can see that my knees are quite high. So it wouldn't be the most comfortable spot, would it? I just want to add one more thing. VinFast offers a 10-year warranty or 200,000 kilometers, and the battery is also a warranty of 10 years. So if you are interested in a VF9, head to the VinFast website, place your order. They're going to be hitting the market in the spring of this year. Okay, so the VF8s are being shipped from Vietnam now. Yeah. This is coming in the spring, yes. and they have two additional models that will be coming by the end of 2023. I'm going to put cards to all of the videos, watch them when you can. So that's the big one from VinFast. Impressive looking, I think. This one I think is going to get people excited.